What's up, Preston Outdoors fans? I thought that was a pretty cool intro, but uh, just getting some time here, doing a vlog Monday. Change it up a little bit. Um, today's vlog, we're not going to be doing any hunting or fishing or anything like that. No travel vlog, but um, like I said before, since my boat's out of commission and uh, getting back to work here, I thought we'd do, a, do kind of a series here. We're going to go over over some of this some of this stuff here some tackle I kind of went over all the rods in one video and that ended up being quite a long video so I don't know if anybody um, even watched the whole thing but uh, we're gonna go over we're gonna take one of these boxes now for these vlogs we're gonna take one of these boxes at a time and I'm gonna go over them and just talk about you know What's in the box? You know, top water, spinner baits, chatter baits, terminal tackle, all kinds of stuff like that. We're gonna take that over and just kind of do this for a, a week by week thing here. And um, you know, I'm gonna talk about that stuff. You know, make it a little more interesting for some of you guys that are uh, up in the North Country like me right now. Um, can't really open water fish today. It feels nice and looks nice out here, but it's only 30 degrees. You know, so. We're gonna do that. Um, first thing first, see I'm representing a new hat here. Got this from uh, Pond Hopper Nation. If you guys don't already know, I'm the North Dakota representative for that website. The website just launched this year, uh, the beginning of January. Um, the guy's name is Albert who runs the website and Albert contacted me last fall and uh, he had seen some of my YouTube videos and wanted to know if I wanted to kind of get on board with what his dream is. And kind of his dream is to, uh, you know, bring everybody together on one website to share information and stuff like that uh, and um, you know promote the love and passion for fishing that people have for that so um, he sent me this hat the other day and I thought well you know what a perfect way to you know kind of kick this thing off is kind of introduce that like I said he's a he's in the process of building all the the state websites the North Dakota website um, isn't fully done yet but he's got Instagram Instagram Facebook and then the website and uh, if you guys want to go check that out, go right ahead um, on one of the websites. My beautiful profile is there. And then, you know, before you can check all the other representatives out all across the country. I think there's 30 some, almost 40. He's almost got all 50 states uh, accounted for. So that's pretty cool. But we're going we're gonna to pick one of these boxes out here and we're going to talk about it today. Right. I just kind of picked a random box. I thought this one was a really good one to start off with. This is my spinner bait buzz bait chatter bait box I don't have a many of e either three of those categories so it's kind of a good way to good way to start but here's my box oh there's even a even a Cinco in there too hmm. oh and I got one underspin all kind of thrown in here but you know I keep my I guess you could say I keep my colors really really simple to me a very classic uh, style and color of a swim bait or swim bait is a, a spinner bait here is is a white spinner bait I mean a white single tail or single tail single blade Colorado Colorado blade uh, spinner bait that to me is a classic spinner bait it's kind of what I grew up um, fishing and this is this is just something that I got I think I got three of them and different different weights and stuff stuff like that but you know that's and then I, I like to incorporate when I was pre-fishing for that one tournament in Texas that I wasn't able to fish but the water was was cleaner you know you got your your will blade spinner baits and these are all Northland tackle reef runner spinner baits Northland is a, a local um, company up here it's based out of Minnesota so I use these I got a I got a red one too. I've not really used that much. Just kind of have something to change it up. But uh, when we come to chatter baits here, I actually have a, a white and chartreuse one that I lost when I was down in Texas. But again, these, I've talked about them before. These are Buddha Bait Company Swagger Jigs. They're a chatter bait, bladed jig kind of thing. And this this by far has been my favorite chatter bait that I've, I've really started getting into the chatter bait game the last two years or something. And this is um, 
this bait right here is really, really, really starting to be uh, become my favorite. I got uh, this is called a river brim color, and then uh, obviously your bluegill color here, and then uh, black and blue, classic black and blue. But like I said, I had a white and chartreuse one. But when it comes to spinner baits, this is the one thing that I've found. Um, when the bite is good, you don't really need it, but it's something a precaution that I've always taken. I started adding trailer hooks. Now it looks goofy, I know. It sticks out the back. You can get smaller trailer hooks. I think these are three aught or something. I, I'm not sure what size they are, but they're VMC trailer hooks. And I started using this the beginning of last year, really just playing around with it. I read some articles where, yeah, if they're short strike and stuff like that, put a trailer hook on. But I started going to a trailer hook at all times now. And something I've done with a chatterbait, which I haven't seen or heard much about, is when I put on a, I usually pair a chatterbait, depends on what I'm doing. If it's pre-spawn or post-spawn for bass, but right around when the bluegill are, you know, spawning, stuff like that, or your brim, I use a, um, one of my homemade craws or any kind of craw with the, with the claws really, really give you good action. It's more of an aggressive, aggressive situation. But after that, when, you know, some, most of the time, if they're feeding on bluegill and stuff like that, it's not so much aggression. I mean, time of day, stuff like that. I'll go to a swim bait. And what I use, here's one on this underspin here, but this is a Gander Mountain Swim Minnow. Just a paddle tail bait. This is the three and a half inch one. But I use, a lot of times, here's a buzz, buzz, buzz bait I got here, but this is the five inch. I'll pair this. If I'm using my half ounce swagger jig, I'll pair it with a five, a five inch um, swim minnow, and I'll actually put a trailer hook on a, on a chatterbait. I've found a lot of times I've, I've thrown these chatterbaits around docks. I'll pitch it up next to the corner post of a dock like you would a spinnerbait, and it falls down, and that wobble on the way down, you get bit, and since you're not reeling it in good contact with it, you go to reel and it's on there, you set the hook and I've had, you know, fish come up to the boat and spit the hook. So I've actually started throwing, when I throw a bigger style bait on there, like that five inch, I'll put a, a trailer hook on that as well. And like I said, I got that buzz bait here. I've never had good luck on a buzz bait. Of course, I've never thrown a buzz bait much. If I'm not a guy that really likes to throw a top water bait and consistently reel it. I like the twitching action and the pause moreover than just the reeling. Now I know people catch these fish with these all the time. They're a great search lure. I'm not I'm not doubting the power of a buzz bait. I'm just saying I it hasn't worked for me yet. I'm I'm gonna be able to to try it some more this summer and stuff like that. I want to be able to, to be confident in a buzz bait but it's not something that uh, I'm really confident in, in here yet. So I keep it even though it's a top water bait I keep it in in with um, these baits here. So this is kind of, this is my, my box. I got one chartreuse and I only have uh, one willow blade. Like I said, I got two or three of these. Um, this one doesn't have a trailer hook on it because I haven't used it yet, but you know, this is this is a half ounce uh, reef runner spinner bait. And I really like these, the twisted eye loop here because before I threw it on a lot of, you know, little snap swivels so I can change colors and baits consistently. Um, and this, this like you, like everybody knows, the Colorado blade is good in dirtier water, where when you got your willow blades here, they're better in cleaner water. This produces less vibration than this. So that's my spinnerbait box. Um, I got a black one also. Um, low light conditions, even sometimes night fishing, I'll throw throw a black one. Easier to be seen, stuff like that. Late evening, early early morning, if I'm not on a top water bite. I'll throw that uh, that spinner bait, but that basically that's my box. I mean, that's kind of be that's gonna kind of be today's vlog. They're not gonna be so much vlogs, but more like tackle tip Tuesdays anyway, or something like that, um, to get out for you guys. And like I said, we're gonna go through the rest of the boxes as the weeks go on here. And um, when I have some more boxes, like my crankbait boxes and stuff, where I got more baits in there, I'll go more. You know, I'll be able to talk longer for you guys. But this is kind of I keep my colors really really simple. Um, when it comes to chatterbaits, I'm going for the, most of the time you're going over either your shad if you're in the southern part or your bluegill brim 
up here in the northern part. So that's what you gotta you gotta be finding. Unless there there are some lakes with some some perch and stuff like that, which that green pumpkin or this river brim color here, you really really can't beat for matching the hatch. So hope you guys find this interesting. Um, like I said, there's these are different different brands that you may or may not have heard of. So I thought I'd talk to you guys about them, but. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be coming out with another video or two more videos the rest of this week. So hope you stay tuned and thanks for watching Preston Outdoors. You guys probably thought that was the end of the video. Well, I'm just here editing it and I thought it was too. But I forgot one important thing. The winner of the comment contest from last week. Like I said, there was one, two... Three. Only three people either wanted to participate in the contest or watch the video all the way to the end. My comment was, comment your favorite way to catch a bass. And in those three comments, one said, uh, Austin said topwater frog. Ryan said a red-eye shad. And Isaac said his all-time favorite lure was a large brush hog. Now, I've heard of a red-eye shad, someone's favorite color. And I've heard of topwater frog. And both of those are really good baits. But what really surprised me, I've never really heard someone say a large brush hog in any color was their favorite. So, Isaac, Phil, you get in contact with me. You're the winner. I got you 22 4 aught Gamagatsu Superline hooks coming your way. Again, let me know in a week. Either uh, message me on... Facebook at Preston Outdoors, Instagram Preston Outdoors, Twitter Preston Outdoors, um, your address, and I'll get those hooks out sent to you. If the, if uh, I don't hear from you in a week, well, then somebody else will win them on a different video. So again, thanks for watching. I got more, more giveaway stuff coming up here. Again, when we reach 1,000 subscribers, we're gonna do a big giveaway. But again, I got a bag full. Of different plastics that I want to give away to you guys so at the end of the, some of these videos you got to watch them all the way to the end there might be a little little contest so again thanks for watching Preston Outdoors